Here is what your website could look like if you were using an events calendar plugin. I will show you how to create that in just a second, but firstly, why would we want that? Well, the first thing is obviously it looks great. That's literally point number one. It makes you look more professional. It makes your business or your web page look better, more appealing. You are more likely to have people come to these events. You're more likely to sell tickets. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but essentially just the pure visuals of it make it worth it. That's the first reason. Before we get to building, we also want to talk about SEO. So that's search engine optimization and having an events calendar plugin is gonna help you boost your SEO. Search engines like regularly updated content. If you have an events calendar plugin, of course you're going to be updating that regularly with new events. So you've got regularly updated content. But that's not the thing that I find the best or the most useful. Quite simply, by using an events calendar plugin, you can appear in search in your local area for events that you're running. You know, if you go onto Google, you search for events or a specific type of event, you can pop up there as part of the maps for an event that's being run, which is an unbelievable source of traffic. If you can get yourself onto that page, which is all about search engine optimization using an events calendar plugin, the impact that that can have on your business, your event, whatever reason it is, could be huge. All right, enough of that. Let me show you how to build the events calendar on your web page. All right, let's start from our WordPress admin dashboard. We're going to do this with a plugin so it's nice and easy. This one here, Sugar Calendar. If you need to get hold of this, all you got to do is go down to plugins and we're just going to click on add new plugin. And then we're going to head up to search plugins here and we're just going to search for Sugar calendar. There we go. It's going to pop up on this top left hand side here. So we can just click on install now and that'll install, wait around. And once that's done, we can just click on activate like that. So here we go. That's going to drop you to this page here, which is the sugar calendar dashboard. And it's all very straightforward. All we're going to do is go here and create our first event. You'll see just down the bottom here, I've got this pop up. Now this isn't on sugar calendar. What this is, is this is for all in one SEO. So this is a really powerful tool that is designed to essentially help you boost your SEO. So we're not going to worry about that today, but it's definitely something you should check out. And I will leave a link to a video at the end of this one where you can click through and learn some more about all in one SEO. It's kind of a must have for pretty much every website. Now we're going to make this nice and simple. So let's come up here and name this event. So I'm doing a tech website. That's what my website is. So I'm just going to have a uh, big, a big debate in store. I'm going to have Apple versus Android. Which one? There we go. That's my title, hopefully to grab some attention. Then we're going to come down here and you can see you've got all of your event information and you can just add all this, no problems at all. So duration, how long is it going to last for? So let's pick a start date. Let's run this on a Saturday and then we can pick our time. This is nice and easy. Nine, let's do it nine in the morning. Let's, we're assuming we have a store at this point and we're opening at nine and we're going to finish it on the same day at 9.45. There we go. Nice and straightforward. You can run events all day if you want to. You just toggle on and off here. And then if, say, if we want to run this multiple times, so we can come to recurrence and we can choose if we want to cause a recurring event. Now, you do need Sugar Calendar Pro in order to use that feature. Sugar Calendar Pro is essentially an upgraded, more powerful version of Sugar Calendar worth checking out for sure. And if you want to pick it up for the best possible price, then hit the link down in the top in comment or in the description. For now, we're not going to worry about it. We're keeping things very simple. Cross to location. And this is where it's very important if you do have a physical location that you add in your address. Okay, now we've got all the key information in there. We essentially have the entire blocks editor at our disposal to do with as we please. However, we want to market this event. So let's come here and we're going to go to the block inserter 
and I'm just going to look for the galleries block, this one here. So I'm just going to drag that one into there and I'm going to upload some files. I'm going to choose some files from my media library. So let's go media library. Okay, I've got my media library so I can start to create my gallery. Let's use this image, this image and this image. They all seem to suit and create new gallery and insert. Perfect, that's lovely. And then underneath, let's just add in some text. So let's go here and I'm gonna add a header, a heading, sorry. Let's just click that there and add our heading for our event. Okay, and then we're gonna add our description just in here so that we can start to inform people of what this is about and all the rest of the information, the key information is going to come from our event info just down here. So for now, let's go with that. It's really up to you. You can make this as amazing, as simple or as absolutely insane as you like, but we're just going to publish and publish again and then we're going to have a look at what this is going to look like and there we have the event you can see just here that it has added all of the information for the event and you can add this to your calendar if you click here you can add it to your google calendar for example the gallery that we added all the details the heading and the text it really is that simple to create yourself an event. Now, if we go back, which we'll do now and have a look at our calendar from the back end, you can see how useful that is too. So this is now our events calendar from the back end. You can see that I've had a few events already that I've created. And then if we head to where the event we just created is, you can see it's right there. You can go in, amend that, adjust it, and you've got all your other options from here, nice and easy to view and organize and keep on top of. Now we have built that, we can look at the other things that we've actually achieved outside of just having an events calendar on the page, which we like, but what are the benefits? Well, firstly and obviously, it's now easier to create events and manage them directly from your WordPress website. That's really kind of a no-brainer and it's something you absolutely want. You've now got an interactive calendar which is going to help boost engagement on your site, keep people coming back to your site. Again, this kind of links up to what we were saying earlier about SEO, but it's all just beneficial for you. If people find this easy, they find it something, a tool that they really want to use and they continually come back to your site, that's all positive for everybody. You've also automated a whole bunch of jobs, so you have to worry about an awful lot less. Running events can be incredibly time consuming. So if you can take a lot of those jobs off your hands and just give them to an events plugin to let them run them automatically, almost why wouldn't you? It's definitely worth doing and I know it saved me a lot of stress in the past. However, one of the most important things you can do is sell tickets. Exchange your tickets for money. A lot of businesses are based on this idea and an events calendar plugin is going to allow you to do that. How would you do that? Well, the best way to get started by clicking this video right here.